there. I just wanted to uh, record a chatty video today talking about a topic that's pretty uh, prevalent in my life at the moment and that is feeling overwhelmed with the amount of stuff going on in life. <laughs> um, I think it's so often as uh, mums of little children especially, why well, I don't have older children, it's probably true for older children as well though, we feel overwhelmed with the amount of things that we have going on and we constantly feel like we're behind with our day and, and what we wanted to get do, down in our to-do list. So um, I've jugged down a couple of points that I of um, things that I find helpful when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I thought that I would share them with you uh, in case you uh, ever feel overwhelmed as well. So here we go. So the first thing that I do when I'm feeling overwhelmed is I do a brain dump. And this, I think it's a pretty well known concept, but pretty much just write a list of absolutely everything going on in your mind. That either things you're worrying about, things you want to get done, things you've got coming up, all these things that are just going round and round in your head. Once you've got them on paper, it's a lot easier to see, like to categorize things together and decide, you know, what's really important and what's not important. And then what I usually do is after I've written out my list, I will um, get my diary or my calendar. So I'll show, like, show you my calendar. It's just here. Ta-da! So this is my calendar. It's absolutely <laughs> ginormous, I know. But basically I take my list and I write on all the things that I've got going on and even things like um, soccer game and if we're bringing fruit for soccer or it's somebody's birthday or, or what um, times different shifts are on for um, when my husband or I are working, all that kind of stuff. I write it on my calendar and then it's, it's, um, it's kind of dealt with in a way. I also have my own planner which I do like a bullet journal um, style planner. And I find it helpful to have um, different categories for my to-do list. So once I've done my brain dump, I think, okay, to-do. What have I got to do this week? Or what do I need to do for next week? And I write it on which week I'd like to get it done. I also have a finance column. And I find it really helpful to write that what bills are due, who's getting paid that week. Um, you know, if we've got a holiday coming up and I need to make sure we've got money to do activities or whatever it is, or I've got to bring money for a teacher's present at school, I write it in and then again, it's out of my mind. I'm not constantly thinking about it while I'm trying to get other stuff done. The second point I have is um, probably a bit ironic seeing that this is on YouTube, but it's to turn off social media or get off social media. So often when I you know, start to feel overwhelmed or that I'm not um, living up to some expectation I've placed on myself it's because I'm comparing myself to what I'm seeing on social media and the biggest what I think the biggest one for me is probably Facebook I just delete the apps off my phone and then you know I'm not going to go to the trouble of reinstalling them all the time uh, to look at them or I might think okay I'm only going to install them you know, after six o'clock every night and that then I've only got like a little bit of time on there and it's pretty much do things I need to get done like message people or look for some item on a buy swap sell group or list an item or something like that. I'm using it as a tool. I'm not just mindlessly scrolling through, seeing all these different images, all these people doing different things, all these causes that I, I like to follow. I'm not feeling like a overwhelmed at my insignificance in the face of everything sort of thing. So I find um, getting off social media really helpful. The third thing I find really, really anchoring when I'm feeling overwhelmed is following my routines. I have an evening routine, I have a morning routine, which I guess they're kind of less routines, more lists of things I need to do um, to be prepared for the rest of the day or the next day. So my morning routine is things like um, 
make the lunches, what am I having for dinner so I can get the stuff out or make sure I, um, you know, if I need to pick up any ingredients, I do that. If I need to cook it before I go to work and stick it in the slow cooker, I know I've got to do that. Um, I also put on a load of washing, like, and I do, you know, my basic tidying up, which is like make the beds, do the kitty litter, stick on a load of washing, probably said that already, um, empty the dishwasher, that kind of stuff. And I know if I get those steps done, I just go, oh, and it's okay. <laughs> I've, I've, you know, I've accomplished the basics for the day. And then my evening routine is pretty much packing up for dinner, um, prepping lunches for the next day, and then um, anything else that needs doing for the next day. Do we need to bring, like, wear a special colour for school? Or do I need to photocopy some music for my students? Something like that. Things that make my next day run smoother. And in reality, these routines probably take, the morning one takes a bit more time, maybe 20 minutes to get all those things done, not including cooking the dinner. And then my evening routine, it's sort of split up between dinner and getting the kids bathed and into bed, bathed and into bed, which can take a ridiculous amount of time. Or sometimes, you know, they're out like that, which is, hasn't been happening lately, <laughs> um, which is why I'm probably feeling overwhelmed. But if following those routines, I find, I know the house, everything's going to run okay. Um, also with routines, sorry, I've got my notes down here, that's what I'm looking at. I also have bigger routines. So every day I have um, a task I like to get done. But um, I know, you know, if I miss one of those days, if I miss vacuuming, say, on a Tuesday, I know, oh, well, you know, it's going to be a week <laughs> until I get vacuumed again. Or I can do it, but I'm not stressed because I know it's going to get done eventually. And then the, sort of the next layer of routines for me is zone cleaning. And if, uh, lots of um, ladies and men probably, but I'm not sure, follow um, like a system put together by a lady who's known as the Fly Lady. And she has a website, flylady.net. The next item I have, I sort of already spoke about a bit, and that is, are we up to four? Maybe we're up to five. We're up to four. Four or five is to be prepared. And by this, I simply mean um, taking, you know, that to-do list, that brain dump list that you did and, and write your shopping list, fill in your calendar, fill in your planner, you know, work out when your bills are going to go, set up the payments if you need to, have things, systems in place so you are not scrambling, trying to get stuff you know, chasing your tail, basically, being overwhelmed. I also try and go to the ATM, um, so I've got some cash, and uh, I try and work on a cash system because I find I can keep track of um, what I've spent and I'm not going to go over my budget um, with different things because that's another thing I find overwhelming is um, when I am unprepared, I just put lots of things on my FPOS card or whatever and... I'm like, I don't know if I have enough money to pay this. And my last tip is let the guilt go. Do not feel guilty about saying no to people, about not getting everything on your to-do list done, about giving your kids some iPad or TV time while you make dinner. Do not feel guilty about not doing a load of washing, missing a day on your routine, whatever. You know, so they were my tips for dealing with uh, feeling overwhelmed as a parent or in everyday life or at work or wherever you're feeling that um, extra bit of pressure squeezing you. Um, and if you have any other tips for dealing with um, overwhelm, I'd love for you to write them down in the comment section below because I'm sure that you guys have got lots of good ideas as well.